our next guest received news that turned her world upside down. A simple DNA test connected her to a family she never knew existed and a father she never knew she had. The news has brought both joy and trepidation, but most importantly, it's brought a sense of relief from knowing the truth. She's here today to share this incredible story. Y'all please welcome Christy along with her daughters, Taylor and Maddie. This all started with a Christmas gift from your girls, right? Absolutely. Um, they bought me a DNA kit for Christmas. We were hoping with the DNA kit we could find out some information, like on my mom. My yeah. mom left me at birth. Yeah. Um, wow. Ah, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. No, that never stops hurting. Yeah, so, I get that. But with that, it brought other news. And um, what happened when you did the test, though? So I got a message from this guy, and he said. I feel that he was my brother. And so I was like, oh, this is real. Like, it's really wow. happening. Wow. Because we were hoping since my mom left me at such a young age, and she was young as well. So I was thinking maybe, like, you know, she had six kids. So if she yeah. left when she was young, she probably has more. But the surprise was is that it wasn't my mom. It was my dad. That's so crazy. And so... I, and did so he, he's, he's, I'm sorry. No, you go. So he said that we were connected by his father. And I was like, that's impossible because I already have a dad. Because your whole life you've thought this man that's raised you is your father. Yeah, yeah. That is nuts. Yeah. So from that, we, um, he called me, he sent me a few pictures of himself and his dad. And I was like, wow, we look alike. So maybe oh, this is real. Then he called me and he's like, here is my dad's number, call him. Did you reach out to him? So I did, so I called him and I was like, hey, I know you don't know me, um, but I think I may be your daughter. Oh and so he's like, um, I was like, do you remember a lady named Patricia? And he's like, um, I'm gonna need to think about this. I'm gonna have to call you tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and so, the next day he called me and he's like, Christy, I think I'm your father. Yeah. And um, so I was like, well, we need to be sure. Like, I really want to be sure. Like, this is, you know, it links me to, you know, Brandon, yeah. my half-brother, but I need to be sure. Yeah. So I sent him a paternity test. He took it. He sent it back to me. I took it and sent it in in 99.99%. It is. That, it, this is the Insane. craziest. This should be made into a movie. I know. This is the craziest thing ever. But, Christy, you said you already had a dad. So tell us about the family that raised you. So, and did he, he thought he was your dad, right? He did, yeah. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It is. Um, yeah, I was raised um, in a pretty big family. I was the baby of six. Yeah. You know, growing up, I always had that sense of disconnect. Like, who am I? Because I didn't share similarities with my family. Like, we didn't... We didn't share anything. Yeah. I'm very strong in my faith, so yeah. they are not. And so that was like huge for me too. But the biggest thing is like, you know, growing up, not having that self-belonging or feeling like, you know, like something's missing. Like you always have that. Something's off. Yeah, like you have that tug like, why don't, I mean, there's five of you. I don't look like any of the five. You yeah. know, like I don't look, and, and I certainly didn't look like the man who raised me. So it was just that, like, you know, just always had that, like, who am I? Like, do I belong? Is this where I belong? Yeah. Um, did you ever get to talk to your mom at all? No, not at all. She, um, you know, obviously she made some bad decisions. She made a lot of bad choices. Um, the only one time that I did get to talk with her, when I was 27 years old, she called me. And um, she wanted to make amends. But I wasn't in a good place for that because I was mad and I was angry. So, and then she died two years later. Do you feel like you missed that opportunity? I do. I feel like, you know, if I would have known she was sick, I would have been different, but. Yeah. Here you go, here you go. I cry a lot. <laughs> I have them like here on standby. I'm just throwing them. I'm like, it's like So hard. that's the beauty of this though, is because when I called my biological father, mm -hmm. um, Stephen. He was just so nice. Yeah. 
This must have been just crazy for you two. I haven't even addressed you two yet. <laughs> like, I can't imagine, like, you being like, yeah, let's find out about your mom. And then and it's, like, a completely different story. Like, you just changed your entire family's trajectory. Like, that, that's crazy. How are y'all yeah. feeling about it? Well, at first we were, like, very shocked and didn't really know how to respond. Yeah. But um, all in all, we were really excited and really happy for my mom because... Um, my mom just been the best mom with like no role model whatsoever <laughs> and she was able to like really push herself through everything and like always be there for us like she never had that and it's just awesome that she's able to do that for us okay you and your words are <laughs> killing me Taylor Taylor wants Kelly, to break me <laughs> yeah. oh my I, I'm just like I can't oh yes yes <laughs> that's, that's the awesome. last one share it split it in half there you go. Share it. <laughs> I know that you said that y'all had talked, you and your biological father, but it's a big move. One, to make that phone call is brave and, like, scary. But have y'all met yet? We have not. Are you planning on it? Are you scared? Or? No, no, I'm not scared at all. He has been, like, the kindest man through this whole process. Like, yeah. literally, he had the opportunity to say to me, like, no, like, I already have a family. Don't come in interrupting my life. Yeah. But instead, he took the opposite approach and has been just the sweetest person. Did he know and about you at all? He never no, knew? No, no. It was just like a little summer fling. Um, so we do have, I do have plans to meet him hopefully next month. Oh, really? Hopefully. Well, Christy won't have to wait that long because he's here. What? So, Steven, come on out! <laughs> Oh, well, have a seat. Can you all scoot down? Say hello to your granddaughters. Yeah. Wow. I've never been a part of anything like this. This is crazy. That's so crazy. I just love that your first family photos will be here. Um, <laughs> we'll have to get good pictures. Y'all scoot down. We'll make room. Here we go. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, Steven, were you shocked? Were you... Oh, I was plenty shocked. Yeah. Had, yeah. Your, had your son given you any warning? Um, he had texted my daughter and said, um, hey, I think we might have a half-sister. Wow. And uh, shortly after that, Christy called me. And... What is that like? Like, I mean, because you had no idea she existed, right? No. That's um, got to be the nuttiest thing. Oh, man, it was, you know, it was <laughs> so uh, exciting to hear it, yet... Part of me was sad that I had missed out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sad. Um, Steven, do you, you have something you maybe want to say to Christy? I love you. Oh, I love you, Jerry. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, I am, so, I am maybe as excited as you are. Oh. This is the coolest thing I've ever been able to witness. Like... I mean, especially coming from a kid, like, I have my own, like, issues. Like, what a beautiful thing to find a, a, a daddy that's, like, kind, have similar things with you. Like, that's, that's the coolest moment. Like, for all of us that didn't get that, like, I'm glad you ended up with it, you know? Me too. Thank you. And, um, yes. you know, it really was a blessing from God. He, he really was, the whole thing. And, uh, you know, I have faith, too, and... I know Christy does, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just an amazing thing that happened. It really was. Um, I have this for you, Christy. It's a um, family tree. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so I, you are much. killing me with these. Oh. I mean, are y'all down there I just am, like, I'm I all... cannot believe that I'm witnessing this right now. This <laughs> is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh this is really goodness. incredible. I'm very happy for you guys. Thank you. Have you ever witnessed anything like this? No, no, this is, like you said, it's a movie. Yeah. And real life doesn't happen the way movies happen, yet clearly. Yet they do. They are witness <laughs> to this. Yeah. I love your New York accent, by the way. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so Maddie and Taylor, is this even crazier? Yeah, yes. I'm really excited. This is something that's like really new to us to have um, love like this from my mom's side of the family. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see what the future holds for us. Oh my gosh, that's, and so well said. Okay, AT, <laughs> um, I'll see you down there. Um, <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel! Please don't make me keep going.